I'm Ben Wallace, I'm 25. Uh, I've been fighting for around 10 years now, training for like 12 years. I got into it initially when I was 14 years old. I used to do a lot of athletics, um, like Race for Britain and stuff, and then I came down to a kickboxing gym, uh, an old gym in Grimsby. And the day that I started there was the day that I knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my time. Left athletics behind, went into kickboxing, um, and haven't looked back since, really. Uh, and yeah, now I've been fighting for around 10 years. Fighting out in Thailand is brilliant. Like, it was an amazing experience. Um, and what it is that we do with Thai boxing, obviously that's the, the mecca, the homeland. Um, it's a brilliant place to go out and train and fight. And I, I love training out there. The heat is amazing, all that sort of stuff. Like you don't get the same injuries that you do in the UK. But the same again, um, it's brilliant. And I'd go back for sure, but I like training in all different parts of the world. So I've been training over in New York with Elvis Gashi, um, spent a long time over there with them. Um, in Amsterdam over with Lucien and Carbon. And the same thing that I, I don't want to adapt myself to one style and gel myself to one particular area. I want to be able to take whatever is useful, like the Bruce Lee saying, um, and create my own style so I can just adapt to anything. Any situation, they're not really going to know what I'm going to come out with. Because one time I can come out and I can fight Dutch against Dutch guys. I want to be able to kick for the ties. I want to be able to box with the boxers. And if I put myself into one style, I'm never going to be able to do that. So I want like a, a large array of skills. <laughs> Like there's no extrinsic um, motivation for me. It's it's not that I need to like kick up the ass to go and do anything. Like this is just what I want to do. I want to carry on competing. I want to compete against the best people in the world. I want to prove myself on the stage. And it just comes from me. Like that's just um, when you come from a place where there's not much going on. You want to build yourself and prove to yourself and everyone that you can go off and perform on these world stages, you know? Um, so motivation, just, I wake up in the morning and this is all I want to do. Uh, I go to sleep at night, so I think about, I'm walking around in the shops, all I'm thinking about is combinations, blocks. It's all that goes through my mind 24 seven. So there's no motivation element for me. Um, and mental preparation, it's the same thing. Like, for me, this is my life. Um, so I'm motivated to go in there and just take whoever is in front of me to stopping me from getting to where I want to be. That's my mental preparation, you know, like I'm already set um, with my blinders on that that's where I want to be and there's no one that's going to stop me, you know. <laughs> Definitely nutrition is important, your hydration, your nutrition. You learn these, if you don't have a good coaching team around you early, you learn these the hard way. So when I was younger, I used to cut too much weight, not eat enough, um, and camps would become very tedious and hard because I just thought the impression of you don't eat, you lose weight. Um, and you mess yourself up like that, ended up in hospital a few times, you know. Um, so I got a nutritionist and studied a lot myself and you understand you need to fuel what you're doing. Like most of us aren't eating enough when you're training this hard. Uh, you're burning off so many calories, you need to keep that fuel going. The same way as your car runs out of fuel, you need to fuel your body and keep going to perform at that level. And then they're the little bits that give you them little extra steps. Like we all train hard, everybody at this level is training hard. Um, it's all the little bits that you can do now. So just getting them extra little steps that you can to be above someone else. So I definitely take all that seriously. Yeah, I think it's definitely progressing well now. Um, I see it more and more over the last three years of it excelling hugely, mainly down to big organisations pushing it more and stuff. But it's definitely progressing hugely now to the point where you can see people making a good career out of it. Um, on promotions like one glory and stuff you see people they can make a profession out of this and it's progressing and it's, it's great for all the rest of us that want to make a profession out of this and we see that it is possible um, so it's good to see it is progressing like that yeah short short term um, future I'm fighting on the 9th of November on Muay Thai Grand Prix um, I'm looking forward to fighting for their organization for the first time long term the same as what we all should be is I'm just aiming for the top 
and I'm aiming to fight whoever I need to be to get there. Um, there is a few people I want to fight, um, and I've called people out before, but it seems like you've come across bitter. That people need to understand it's not a personal thing. We're all here to prove that we're the best. So when you want to fight somebody, it's not a personal endeavour. It's, it's that you want to progress and show that you're the best. And if they're ranked ahead of you, you want to fight them because you want to join that spot. And you want to keep doing that all the way through. So I just want to fight the best there is around and prove it to myself um, and show what me and my team are capable of and that we're, we're prepared to fight on the world stage and beat whoever there is. For me now, it's everything. Um, I've been doing this for so long. It's become part of my identity of what I do. Um, and I enjoy fighting on these big stages and chasing the world championships and proving I'm the best. But now I've gone into coaching a lot and I enjoy passing this on to children. They're in a similar space as when I was, when I was young, and you come from like a bad neighborhood and stuff, and you want to show them that there's different avenues that you can come through, and there's, there's places you can go, like there's different options. And I want to be able to pass that on through to the younger generation and give them some direction, a bit of light for, to shed to them to see where they can go. So now I love fighting and I love competing, and like I say, the World Championships are the goal, and being number one's the goal, but helping young people come through and helping push them through is definitely motivating me. Um, and I feel like being a fighter helps me push that through a lot more.